This is my dad's easy version of lobster, made for all of us Haosang Zaile out there. Steamed lobster tails. This is a simpler twist on a classic celebratory Cantonese dish, perfect for when you want something majestic without having to deal with the whole lobster. Yes. Yes. First, we'll prepare what my wife likes even more than the lobster, the juicy bed of vermicelli. We'll let the vermicelli soak for at least 10 minutes in warm water. Now we'll prepare the aromatics. We'll smash each clove of garlic with a cleaver, then peel it. Then we'll smash each clove into a paste. If you want to learn how to cut twice as fast and prevent injuries, we have a free six minute video lesson for you. Click the link in our description or scan the QR code to access it for free. After smashing, we'll chop the garlic thoroughly, changing angles to make a finer paste. Okay, After slicing, we'll smash each piece of ginger with a cleaver. Then we'll chop it thoroughly, just like the garlic. After chopping, we'll add it to the same bowl as the garlic. After smashing, we'll finally dice the green onion. Then change angles while chopping to mince them even smaller. We'll put these in a separate bowl from the garlic and ginger. There are plenty of options when it comes to buying lobster tails. For one, it's much easier without having to choose a live lobster. Also, frozen lobster tails are generally very similar in quality to fresh ones since they're flash frozen right after the lobster is caught. Even lobsters sold as fresh may have been previously frozen, like our wild caught Costco lobster tails today. If you're looking for sustainable options, check out the Seafood Watch website. After washing the lobster tails, we'll set them aside and return to the vermicelli that's been soaking for 10 minutes. With kitchen shears, we'll cut the vermicelli into shorter lengths. Then we'll drain the water from the vermicelli. Now we'll soak the vermicelli again in hot water. Now 
There are several different varieties of vermicelli out there. Today, my dad's using pre-cooked bean vermicelli that's been dried into serving size bundles. We've included a link in our description to buy this exact brand on Amazon. We'll cut the shell all the way down to the fin. Then repeat with the rest of the lobster tails. We can also use a sharp knife to cut through the shell. But we recommend using shears as it's easier and safer. Jason from the Kento Cooking Club asks, how do you work with frozen lobster closer, closer, closer. when fresh isn't available or feasible? What's the best way to thaw lobster tails? Not in the microwave, take a tie. Slow, they force. I'm gonna yeah. share with mommy. If you want yeah. your own. Okay, hold okay. on. Okay. 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 Then we'll pull apart the shell just a bit. We'll continue cutting the rest of the tails and pulling them open. We'll set that aside to drain again and bring out our walk-in stove for the next step. We'll heat the oil for just 30 to 40 seconds. Then we'll pour the hot oil over the garlic and ginger. Then we'll mix up the paste with the hot oil and add the green onions. Then mix in the green onions. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. After mixing the paste well, we'll give it a taste test. Good. The flavor profile should be pretty savory, but you might want to add the salt in multiple batches just to make sure you're not overdoing it. To make sure the vermicelli is as dry as possible, we'll transfer it to a deeper colander and toss it a bit to let any excess water drip off. We'll add one tablespoon of oyster sauce, half a tablespoon of light soy sauce, one teaspoon of sesame oil, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of sugar. After the seasoning is all mixed in, we'll give it a taste test. Once that's approved, we'll plate the vermicelli onto our steaming and serving plate. Now we'll spoon the garlic and ginger paste into the lobster tails. Then we'll place it on top of the vermicelli. 
Lobsters are known as longha in Cantonese, which directly translates to dragon prawn. As you might know, dragons are extremely auspicious animals in Chinese tradition, one of the 12 animals in the Chinese zodiac and symbols of power, luck, and strength. You'll often find lobsters served at banquets and weddings. In Chinese culture, lobster, like fish and chicken, is traditionally served whole because of the phrase yao tao yao mei, which literally translates to having the head and tail, and it means having a beginning and end and finishing what we start. To have the whole animal on the table is lucky as it signifies abundance and completeness. So while you probably shouldn't serve lobster tails at a special occasion for more traditional Chinese friends or family, they'll be perfect practice for a much more elaborate lobster yimin recipe. Now we'll fill the rest of the lobster tails with the garlic and ginger paste, then plate them. Why do you put funsi on the bottom? Because yeah, it's good. Because it's so good. It's so good. I can't so good. Do you have any yong chow mein? Why do you have any yong chow mein? Kudi 所以我要加多,加多個匙羹上來,攞攞佢,等佢唔好執住,等等啦,等陣去,唔執啦,你啲就係很老嘅,就係,佢水流會滾水嚟嘅,個。First, we'll add about four cups of hot water, or basically up to the bottom of the steaming rack. 龍蝦呢,就,剛剛剪到個底,開到麻花滾水先。We'll turn the heat to high and cover it to bring the water to a boil. Now we'll let it steam covered for 10 minutes on high. Robert from Patreon asks, what's the best way to make sure the lobster isn't overcooked? Like many other kinds of seafood, lobster can easily be overcooked. The delicate meat can quickly become tough and dry. For that reason, my dad immediately uncovers and turns off the heat right at 10 minutes to stop the cooking process. To confirm that it's fully cooked, simply make sure that the meat is white and opaque. We'll cut some of the green parts of the green onion vertically to create thin strips for garnish. After 10 minutes of steaming, we can uncover. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Here, my dad adds a tablespoon of olive oil to the lobster for that final bit of shine. After garnishing with the green onion strips, we're ready to serve. Cam, look at that circle, the black yeah, look circle. Right here. Look right here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right. A huge thank you to our walk stars and all of our chefs in the Kanto Cooking Club.